We are back with a big win for the Lafayette Leopards here at K-Mine Stadium. Your final six to five. It was a back and forth ball game early on. Penn took a two to nothing lead with a couple of runs in the top of the first inning. And after that, you're wondering what kind of a game we'd see with the quick couple of runs that you saw from the Quakers coming in as a team with 10 wins already this year against a Lafayette team that is really just trying to find its footing this season. But Lafayette comes back with a run in the second inning and slipping and when unable to Pat Vandenberg up. scored after Acelta. doubling. And then after and they trade that run, one run for Penn field. in the third racing. inning, that's when Lafayette kind of opened things up Park, is that in the fourth and fifth right innings. Field. Five straight runs get down. for Vandenberg the Leopards. Rounds first. Three runs in the fourth, two runs in the fifth. A lot of these runs coming from the bottom half of the order from people like Patron, Vandenberg, Malice, Acelta, and Walsh, all scoring at least one run in this game, and those runs coming in the fourth and fifth innings. The Quakers did make a run at it with a couple of runs in the seventh, but when it was all said and done, Lafayette gets the job done as Dylan Seitzke shuts the door to pick up a save. He pitches a clean inning in the ninth inning as you continue to look at some of the highlights we saw some odd plays throughout the afternoon. We talked about all the walks and the hit by pitches. Overall, seven batters were hit. There were double digits in walks. But again, when it was all said and done, the Leopards come through with this win and advance into the second round of the Liberty Bell Classic, where they will take on Delaware one week from today. Talk about some of our impact players this afternoon. We'll start with the Quakers, the visitors. Davis Baker, the shortstop freshman. He is the player of the game for the Quakers, the all-star player. And for Lafayette, it's James Aselta getting the start in left field. Picked up a run in the fifth inning, doubled in the fifth inning, also walked in the seventh. One of the many stars in this game as we continue to look at some of the highlights. We move to the ninth inning where Dylan Seiske was the one that really came in and shut the door. Again, three straight strikeouts for Seiske to pick up that save. Bartley gets the win. He is 1-1 one and one on the year. Again, our stars for the game of Celta and Baker. For Lafayette, the win moves them to 5-20. and 20. For Penn, they fall to 10-10 and 10 on the year. Both teams back into conference play this weekend. For Lafayette, it's a big one as they head... Really, just next door to take on the big rival. They'll play Lehigh four times over 72 hours, Friday into Sunday. And then the Penn Quakers head up to Dartmouth as well as they continue their Ivy League play. But a real nice game here at Cayman Stadium. Congratulations to Coach A.J. Miller in his home opener. His first game coaching back at his old digs. He picks up the win. And that will do it for us here at Cayman Stadium. We Thank you for joining us. I want to thank John Sabino for pushing all the right buttons in the director's chair. I am Matt Fine. Have a wonderful evening, everybody. Stay safe. We'll see you back here real soon.